Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, guess what? I have another video for you and you might want to go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking that subscribe button, giving this video a thumbs up. Make sure you join the chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. If you do not see a join button next to the subscribe button, it is $1.99 a month to be a part of the chatterbox for exclusive live streams. Uh, did I say screams or streams? Streams. And you do have to be 18 years old or older to join that. However, you can listen for free here. So here is the thing. I'm going to jump right into it. This is Noah Pooh. For those who may not know, he is the Willow prototype number two um, by Claire Tellum. And I am here to give my probably the most unpopular opinion on silent auctions and auctions. Um, however, what I have to say just might surprise some of you guys, but I want you guys to listen fully and all the way through before you jump to conclusions, before you get your panties in a wad. And I've listened to some of, you know, of the collectors. I've heard a lot of things and this, and I've seen a lot and you know the story. So, but I'm going off of my experiences, things that I know, um, behind the scenes, things, um, that I've experienced from my personal experience as far as being a seller. Um, so, number one, let me first off say, if it was up to me, I would not do silent auctions. Let me say that. It is not my number one thing, but I do believe that every seller has the right to sell their dolls the way that they see fit. That's just my opinion. Being a buyer and a seller, and now that I've been selling my dolls, dolls a little bit more, I have been experiencing a lot of things that makes me kind of understand a little bit why some of the sellers do what they do. I think selling is the hardest part of painting dolls. Like When I paint my dolls and I get ready to put them up for sale, that's when I become the most stressed because I got to deal with the selling process. Um... Let me say this also too, I will never buy from anyone that I do not trust, that I do not um, feel that they have integrity and that they are going to be dishonest, period. So I have bid, did bids on eBay. I did silent auctions, as you guys know. Um, it's not my thing, but if I really, really want something, I will do it, but I have a cap and I'm only going to go so far. Now. Let me say what I do agree with. What I do agree with is it does make it a little bit more challenging, I believe, when you when that bid goes really high and that doll is very expensive, such as um, Noah, and I get ready to resell. If I was to resell, get ready to resell him, you know, yeah, maybe. I mean, I've been around for a while and a lot of people don't really question me like that, but over a certain amount they might you know what I mean like um and then yeah it might be a little bit more challenging for someone to say oh I'm not paying that much money I don't know if you pay that but let's be real how many of you guys pull out receipts when you sell anyway okay so I'm gonna tell you it's a catch-22 a lot of people are very upset because it makes it harder for them to doll flip um, a lot of the doll flippers are really bummed out about it because see what I don't understand is the main people making videos talking about it are the main people that get a doll for twenty five hundred and sell it for five thousand the main people that you know so I'm like okay so it's okay for you to jack the price up from collector collector but it's not okay for the artist to make money for the the work that they actually done so we are supposed to be able to profit off of the artist back but the artist can't make their own money okay that's one way because see we want to trust more of the artists I mean the collectors than we do the artists but keep in mind a lot of time us collector to collector mm, anyway but that's one side of it but it does you know it's like you ever heard one app, bad apple spoils, spoils the bunch. Another thing why, 
And this is what I've heard on a general basis from some people that was doing the silent auctions. Um, when they were doing eBay and stuff like that, they were tired of people going in, running up the bids and then not paying, you know, making random accounts because see with eBay, you know, you make these accounts and all this and stuff and you do this, you don't really have control over the number keep going up. When you do your own auction, you do. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing is, you know, I guess people don't want to just put a buy it now. They want the collectors to determine the value of the doll. Um, so, you know, that's that. So I'm a little... I'm open-minded so I can see where um, I can agree with the, my collector side agree with some of the collectors on parts of it but then also from the other side of things I can understand where the artists some of the artists feel like they're in a tough spot because it's kind of like you damned if you do and you damned if you don't um, my thing is just like anything else um, when you buy something, don't spend more than what you're willing to spend for that doll. And when you get ready to resell it, the thing is, is that there's another collector that is going to be thinking that same way. So whatever price tag that collector put on there, trust to believe another collector is going to either buy it unless it's like outrageously and it's not worth it. Um, the good thing about Clartella dolls for the most part, they, they hold their value pretty well. And so a lot of people do buy her dolls just because they know that they will be able to get their money back. And this silent auction thing, now that um, she's starting to do it. And I mean, it's really funny because it has started so much of a big to do. But, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, but months back when other artists was doing it, I guess that's the part that, that kind of irritates me. I'll be honest with you guys. It irritates me because we want to pick and choose who have the right to do silent auctions. When Joanna K. Doll sold for 28000 or whatever it was, everybody was happy making videos. Congratulations. Look what she did. Woo, hoo, hoo. Wada, wada, wah. And then soon as another artist starts doing it, it's like the end of the world. People making up videos. Why I don't want their dolls. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, and then what don't get, what gets me. And this is why I say, oh, you got to be careful who you, who you think your real fans are. Because there's many sheep in wolf clothing. Wait, wolves in sheep clothing. Girl, y'all know I'd be messing it up. But it really is. Because now I'm not a part of this so-called fan club page. But rumors are is that they had a whole chat thing going on where they basically like dragging this particular artist through the mud. How they're not gonna, they're gonna boycott her dolls and blah, 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 blah. So are you a fan club or a hate club? See what I'm talking about? This is why I don't do that isolation stuff. Look, I would have been like, take my name off of that. <laughs> See, that's why you can't trust people. You have people that got 20,000 of these lady dolls in their, in their collection. I got 20 lady dolls. And then every comment section, you tan it down. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. We losing. They greedy. We blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. A lot of the other collectors that's been collecting for a long time, that I've spoken to that actually have been doing these silent auctions and stuff like that um or that have been buying for years and have are huge fans they don't care which way it go if they want the doll they're gonna get it so you know it, it it's my only thing for me because of course my priority is myself. I wish the artists didn't feel that they needed to do silent auctions. I wish they could just put a price on their dolls, what they felt like it was worth, or do buy it now. Or if they were going to do auctions, they would be able to do it in an open forum. In a perfect world, I, I do wish that. I honestly do not prefer... I, I don't like... At the same time, I don't like 
for people to know how much I paid for my dolls. And I'll tell you why. It's not because I want to cheat somebody or resell it at a higher value. It's because I don't like people judging me. See, people like to make all these videos about, oh, you know, don't judge me because I buy lesser dolls or I don't feel like I fit in because I don't have a high doll or um, people look down on you because you don't have a high price doll. But then you make all these videos down talking people who do own expensive dolls or quote unquote name brand dolls or quote unquote high end dolls because you know all those titles and stuff don't always apply. And price don't mean quality and price don't equal high end either, hunty. Just, that's all the way across the board, period. I don't care who the, who the artist is, period. My favorite artist, my not favorite artist, that is how I feel, period. But I'm just saying, you know, so I don't like the price being disclosed. So I kind of like, in a way, I like that part of the price not being disclosed because I don't need people judging me on... Oh yeah, she spent that much money for a doll. She's stupid. Oh, she ain't got good sense. Oh, she must be credit card it and she must be charging. She must be twerking for dollars. Um, I don't know how she did that. How many she had to do to get that doll? You know what I mean? Like, I don't need that in all the videos. I remember the first time I made my, I bought my most expensive doll, which was Kingston. I can tell you at least two collectors that I actually thought was good with me, that I thought that I liked, made long behind videos talking about prices and how they would never and blah, blah. I will say though, it's credit to one, they still have never done it. But the other one, I got a five fifty million dollars, you know? What happened to I would never? I don't think even if I had the money, I would. The other thing is, people listening to this, and they all want to say, don't do it, don't do it. But then they have, the dolly broker comes in, goes into auction. Now they done pushed everybody else and discouraged everybody else from bidding. So they can come in low, and next thing you know, they buy, then they sell. Listen, whatever people want to do, that's their business. But since everybody else decides that they want to give an unpo unpopular opinion, I thought I would give mine and share mine. And I want everybody to understand and trust to believe I am a collector first. So, yes, a lot of you guys may be shocked and may not believe this, but I am not totally rooting for silent auctions. I just think that it's the seller's right to do whatever they want. Number two, I feel like, guess what? You can have your opinions. That's what this platform is for. But at the same time, don't try to slander or, you know, talk about somebody's integrity when they don't have a history of being dishonest. And the second, second of all, the other thing is don't buy from somebody that you don't trust. We were talking about this the other day on Facebook. They were talking about how you go in these groups and they're like, put a safety pick, like collectors that's been around for forever years or, you know, artists that's been, you know, selling for forever years. And, you know, very well known in the community and they post a picture of a doll for up for sale and they're like, put a safety pit. And they were like, I'm not doing that. You know, they feel like they don't have to. And I can understand that because I've actually taken down my doll. I'm like, I don't got time for that. I don't got time to go in and find no piece of paper, no marker. I ain't five years old. I ain't even got no markers in here. And um, technology today, I barely have a pen because everything is typed. But um, anyway... Nevertheless, you know, I get it, but those things are Photoshop. It's the way around it. So my whole thing is if I need to see that you actually have the doll, if I need to see a safety pick from you, guess what, baby? You're not getting my coins because I don't trust you. Bottom line, period. <laughs> but some people be so desperate to get a particular doll, they they will buy into that. And they will they will jump in and buy a doll from someone that they normally wouldn't buy a doll from. So I get it. Whatever. So it's always two sides, three sides, five sides to a story. Um, but, you know, just being open-minded. I don't ask nobody to agree or not to agree with me and my opinion. I'm just saying that the moral of the story is there's always going to be somebody that's going to buy there's always going to be somebody that's going to do something differently than the last person. 
And if you want artists, if you want to support an artist and you want to support, let them do how they, they feel they need to do. Eventually, they will go back to their old thing if it doesn't work, if it's not working for them. Um, two, not only that, when, they, when they're doing something, like when some of these artists were doing, because I mean, even Sylvia, um, the, proto, the big time prototype artist is selling straight out now. She's not even doing eBay anymore auctions. I mean, it's so many artists going towards this silent auction thing simply because they know collectors don't like to know people to know the price that they're paying. Two, we know that eBay can get very tricky. You know, um, people will go in there and pay for stuff and then cancel, ch charge back, um, try to return the doll or don't even pay, you know, run your auctions up on purpose. Then you got to wait 20 million days for them and then try to cancel and all this. It's just a headache. So, you know, we already, so that, that's, that's a hassle. And until you actually be put in that scenario and situation, you don't get it. Cause I'm for one was like, I love eBay. I don't get it. But I've had a couple incidents where I'm like, seriously, <laughs> I'm like, this, this shouldn't even be allowed. So, um, so yeah, so like I said, I am all for buy it now. I am all for, um, so I, my, my only question to you guys is, so instead of doing silent auctions, right? Let's say that the average that an artist is really truly getting is like 15 to $20,000 per doll. Hypothetically speaking, not saying that they are, let's say that's on average. Let's say, so if they start putting out dolls, buy it now and just say, you know what, $15,000. Would that be better than the silent auction because at least you know what the price is? Or do you rather take the chance of possibly getting it a little less <laughs> because they do an auction and yeah, so, and you have a starting point that's lower than the 15,000 or 17,000 or 20,000 or whatever. I don't know, it's kind of like, I'm going to go even to another area and I probably shouldn't go here and, but I'm going to say that overall this, this, this hobby has gotten way more expensive than when I first started. And I don't think that things are, I don't know. I, I think that this is where we're at. Um, there's a lot of collectors that's got a lot of money and, or not even that. Think about all the collectors that have been collecting for so many years and they have all these dolls that they can all sell to buy new dolls. They have a lot of equity. You know what I mean? So, I don't know when you look at it that way. But like I said, guys, um, I'm not angry with anybody for sharing their unpopular opinion. I, I you know, I think it's, it's, it's a healthy conversation i just i just find it funny that a lot of the people that are kind of like mainly it's mainly being they're mainly attacking you know one artist in particular and they supposed to be so big of fans i don't want those kind of fans that's all i'm saying i don't want those type of fans because you know and even if you don't make a video, but you in everybody comment section, cheering it on, I support people in whatever they want to do in life, period. Rather, I'm going to be a part of that or not. If I, you know, there are times where, you know, I remember when the, I first tried to bid on a doll, one of the dolls, and I got outbid it and it was above my, my, my budget. I sell so many dolls and sit the money in an account. And when those, when, when I get ready to buy a doll, that's the amount of money I have that I can do. I cannot go into savings. I, I don't have credit cards. Um, 
just for the record. Oh, I have one credit card with about $300 on it. No, $500 maybe. Okay, boom. So anyway, that's none of y'all business, but just so y'all know. Um, <laughs> but if you guys are willing to let me hold your credit card, girl, what? Let me ching ching. But no, um, seriously. Um, and I remember saying, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I understand it. And it's, it, it is very frustrating. You guys have seen my pre previous videos. But I'm the type of person that believe that when you support somebody and you, you believe in their work, you believe in their talent, you believe in, in them and you want them to do well, I wish them well in all they do. I'm not going to try to sabotage. I'm not trying to boy boycott. I'm not trying to tear everybody, anybody down. If I can't afford it, it's not for me. I move on, period. Um, especially if it's somebody that I have quote unquote said I am a huge fan of and I really love because when you really listen to some of these things you ever hear somebody give you a compliment and take it back oh girl oh I love that baby but girl I just wish she didn't really have them look cross eyes and if her fingers wasn't turned like that and oh if her legs wasn't like that and girl why did they do her ears like that but she cute though that's how a lot of these people sound to me sometimes it's like so do you really like them or you don't? Or do you just buy the dolls because they're easy to flip? I don't know. Or do you buy them because they're popular? And so that goes into another video that I saw about people buying mainly because of popularity and whatever, whatever. Rest, rest to believe that I'm not buying crap over popularity because some of the popular dolls was a... Hell no for me. So, um, but I know that I, well, I feel that they're not talking about me. I kind of got an idea of who they're talking about. And, you know, that's fine, you know. Um, but keep in mind, guys, if you don't want nobody to, to, to judge you for having cheap dolls, please don't judge me for having expensive dolls. Please. Please. If you don't want me to count your pennies, please don't count my dollars. Now, that might have sounded a little cocky, but I'm just saying, reverse the role. Because you don't really know where my sources might come from. You know what I mean? And it don't matter. Because it's each and everybody business on how they do and how they collect. But, again, I'm not angry with anyone. Please make this clear. This is not a war. I'm just sharing my opinion like everybody else. This is not a war. I don't have a problem with people sharing their opinion because I believe that is what the platform is for. So, you guys may continue. Done. I rest my case. <laughs>